We've both done some things. <laughs> I think we both can see, you know, that there's been some wrongs in the relationship. I forgive you for what you've done. I hope you forgive me for going so hard at you. We're good? I'm asking you. Barstool Pick'em brought to you by our friends at Game Time. Game Time is the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Give the gift of an awesome experience this holiday season with Game Time. If you're nervous that your present won't arrive in time or simply forgot to holiday shop, Game Time tickets get delivered to your phone and inbox instantly. Game Time has all the best tickets and you'll get an awesome price on them. If you haven't given Game Time a shot, now's the time. We've been using Game Time all year, went to a bunch of games. College football show has been using Game Time. We've been all around the country. Uh, concerts, hockey, basketball, bowl games, playoffs, everything. Download the Game Time app, go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time last minute tickets, lowest price. Guaranteed the Game Time app, the exclusive ticketing partner, Barstool Sports. If you love us, you should love Game Time, and they will make sure they get you in the door with the best price. Use code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Okay, Barstool Pick'em. Uh, we got Dukes, we got Katie, we got Hank, Dave's on Zoom, Bubba, Aria, Enrico Bosco. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look who I mean, came crawling back. He came just, crawling back, Dave. Like, I knew we were doing this episode. I know. And it's still surreal to see him there. And, 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 and this is going to be a, 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 a very important moment because there's a lot we have to talk about. People are going to think that this was a bit, oh, that this was rigged. They're, they're, they're going to the think way, there's, every, there's no way we're ever not going to convince them that. But I, I, I will say... And by the way, I don't blame him either. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. They, no, Hank, actually, Hank and I were talking before, and Hank's like, I'm directly involved, and I still am like, what's going on? Like, is this a bit? Rico <laughs> accepted another job. Uh, we saw a bunch of, you know, people... Some people were sad that he was going. Some people were happy he was going. Some people said Dave and Dan bullied him out. Uh, there also were some weird YouTube comments that I think Rico actually wrote himself under a burner. Uh, <laughs> he definitely did. Yeah, one hundred percent did, and he bashed us bad. Uh, and and so, defended. Yeah. And defended. It was somebody who was very pro the move. Yeah, and knew, knew all the details. Knew of the, the details move. of the deal, which no one else knew. Uh, Rico told us all, all he was leaving. He walked out the door. We said our goodbyes. He was gone out of my my mind, out of everyone's mind. And then, I had a call with him uh, the night of, I believe, or the next night. And and he was like, I just want to make sure no hard feelings. I'm like, none at all. You got to do what you believe you got to do. Um, he mentioned, you know, let's not shut the door on a reunion tour. Five to ten years down the road, I go, Rico, a body's not even cold. Not even cold. He and then he's like, well, we'll stay in touch, right? I'm like, nah, not really. Hung up. Text him like, don't take it personally. I'm just not going to stay in touch. Yeah. Like, you're not, you don't work for us anymore. You work for another Correct, company. You've out. taken another we offer. We move on. We move Correct. on. It's next man up. We just do the thing that we do. We've been doing this for a very long time. We're going to keep doing it for a very long time. Less than 48 hours, Rico was on the phone with me begging for his job back. <laughs> and also I on got the phone with Hank <laughs> begging for his job back. And so on the I phone, got, he called everyone begging for his job back. Not me. I got, I was at the pizza place before Rough and Rowdy on Friday. And I got a text from Dan. Or no, you called me. But yeah. I was like getting ready for the pizza. I'm like, what's up? He's like, you go, you're never going to believe it. Before you could do the second text, you probably <laughs> will believe it. I knew Bosco was trying to get back in the mix. It was I knew it. That quick. He couldn't take it. He couldn't take the outside life for more than 48 hours. He heard us saying, sayonara, bro. The people who've been protecting you for all these years are no longer protecting it, it, it you. It may have been the road to perdition <laughs> yes. clip. It may be you walk out that door, you walk it out alone. Now I heard he and and I talked to Bosco. We'll get into some of the conversations that happened. But I heard at one point he said it didn't count because it was within oh, yeah, 24 yes. hours. Yes, he he's tried like, to tell me that he's. <laughs> uh, it's only been two days. So, like, have I really left? I was like, dude, you accepted another job with a competitor. Like, you accepted that job. And then you told everyone in the office you were leaving. 
and yeah, and no, like the company party was about it, you leaving. Yeah, and like and then he's like, "Wow, it's only two <laughs> days. It doesn't really count." He was he basically walked out the door. He looked back and he saw me and Dave sitting in the in the window, and we gave him a little wink, like. Have funny, have fun out there, buddy. And he just turned around and sprinted right back into Daddy's arms, and just like I want to come home. I I told him, I first of all, for everyone's like you shouldn't let him back. People know Bosco, and they know he he's. We said it. He listen. He's he he's when if you, he's nice, to, he's nice. To, he's super nice. If he's mean, he's the meanest guy who ever lived. I'll say one person, cons before I would bring Rico back. Yep. He needed to apologize to cons and get cons to say, yep. And I, and, and I want to make it clear to cons. If there was one ounce that you didn't want him back once he left, I, that's fine. I'm not going to hold that. You don't have to do anything for me or what you think Dan and I want. Con said, you know what? I, 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 I'm going to let bygones be got bygones. I, I'm fine with it. Con- that conversation before Rico and I started the comeback conversation took place. Cons is 100 times a human being that Rico Bosco Oh, is. and Rico openly he would said never, he would never. He never, would never do that never. for another person. Never. Cons literally was like, yeah, dude. you." Rico crossed a major line. A major Correct. line. Uh, and like is has and done, he, and he has admitted it. it, it Rico yeah. has admitted, but you said it when we had the last show. I didn't know what had happened. I alluded to it. He has Rico has done some things that are so fucked up that people He's are a terrorist. That, that people when they say like we bully him, and then if I told you the shit he does, you'd be like, this guy's oh, the worst guy ever. He he's a Bin Laden. Yeah. No, uh, D- that Dave guy from Chech- Dave. Uh, Chechnya. He's Dave. He's Dave. up there, man. Dave Rico called me the h and and he and 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 whitney and kirk did their show on friday right before rough and rowdy and kirk mentioned the fact that like didn't see a lot of people lamenting the fact that rico was gone didn't see a lot of tributes to him on twitter rico actually asked me do some people in the office not like me (laughs) dude the the whole office doesn't like you there are people who are very upset that you're back very upset I got a text uh, uh, in um, Trista Crick. So Trista Crick, yep. her and Burn Bridges. I heard. So Rico was going to where Trista was, like BetQL, which is a uh, Odyssey company, and Boomer and them are talking about it. And Rico Boss, I said to you, Dan, I go, the thing they they don't get is they think this is a joke. No, yeah, like they don't know what's walking through that door. Boomer's going to say one thing about Rico, and he's going to try to take him out. He's going like, to create a burner account and go after his family. <laughs> so That's what he does. Trista was pissed because I guess the same agent Rico was using was hers, and he's like, how could they bring – I'm not going to work with this guy. Trista then texted me. I didn't want to do it. She's like, wait, Rico's not coming after all? Yeah. He's, I'm like, no, he, 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 he begged his way back in. And now here's the thing. I walked, I was actually, when I talked to Rico, I was in Malibu, beautiful place. Sun, sun setting, I'm walking the beach when I'm talking to him, it's a perfect day. And at some point, it's like, I don't even know what we're talking about. Because Rico said he changed. No, he's uh, never changing. All guy, well, he's, he's going to cliches, you know, everybody deserves a happy ending. Uh, and you know, this, that, it's like. Oh, he said to me, I just want to have fun again. Can we have fun <laughs> again? Like what? Dude, I have fun I, every day. You're the one who's been moping for six months. And and, and I said you've made it a million times miserable. Yeah. Like more, like everything you didn't like is now a hundred. I, I said it's gonna make him crawl, and it's not out from his desk to, to the pod when I'm there. In like he's gone. He what he didn't like. It's like he took a shovel. Yeah. Built the most intense shoveling machine of all time and shoveled to the center of Earth and then jumped in his own hole. Like Batman with no way to get out. He's like, can I start from here now? Yeah. That's what he did. Well, no, he's only gone for two days, so it doesn't really count. He should should get the same spot. But in here, here's my issue. And I was talking to him. Because he still says, like, you know, I just have a hard time disconnecting, not reading, like, the comments. And, And I, you know, it's one of my sins. I'm Jewish, and I know Rico doesn't like Jewish people. But if... I went into church and you do the things where you confess and says, Father, I have sinned. I have a sin. 
Because if I, I and, and it's a, a cross I bear, I like Rico, even though I know he, he's Al Qaeda. But if I was a good friend, and I said it to him, I go, I won't give you this job back. Yeah. Because in three months, yeah, you are going to be throwing high noon cans at high velocity at the next person you don't like or what. I know that. You can't change unless we do therapy from 9 to 10 when you get here in, in 5 to 6 or in your hours 12 to 1. So you get here at 9, you do the two hours of therapy because I don't. He's like, well, I changed. It's like, you changed from in, in two, 48 hours two, ago? Two days? Yeah. You've been here for 10 years. You haven't changed. Out. You're incapable. He, he lives in a, that guy right there, different planet. Different He's planet. He's not on our planet. He's never been on our planet. He's never going to be on our planet. I don't like his and smile I know right that. now because he thinks it's a joke, too. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He I thinks d- it's a joke. Because I, told, I showed you the text, too, Dave, that actually. Yeah, that was tough. Yeah. I almost. So, all right. So, the timeline, real quick. <laughs> He quits. Uh, by the way, I talked to uh, – because I introduced Rico to his agent. Uh, Rico has never screwed anyone over more than this guy. The I guy was know, working I, for I, him I, for I, five yeah. months. Uh, Rico didn't even have the courtesy to talk to him on the phone to be like, hey, I just fucked you over. I went back to Barstool. I talked to the guy on the phone. He, he was like, did you I guys offer him more – but- No, I know, but he was like, did you guys offer him more money? I was like, no. He came crawling back. And the guy's a stand-up guy, and that's the last time I've ever – like putting the my only, name the on the line. I don't know about that guy being a stand-up guy. Is he kept secret from Trista that he was shopping around because he knew Trista would have been in his asshole. Yeah. So that's a little shady by that. But guy. it's just but, like he Rico like screwed a relationship over for me. That's I mean he's done a million things to me. Whatever. Rico leaves Wednesday, begs for his job back Friday. I tell him and Hank had. I want to hear Hank for a second. I went for. I don't know, we talked for like an hour, and I was basically like, Rico, if you come back, and it's up to Dave, it's not my call, I was like, if you come back, I will give you the tools to succeed, but the minute you don't listen to me, I'm done. I'm and done. that's where you're nuts. Because yeah, he, I know, he, I know, he, I know. I, but, but you know what? He, I already have one thing, Dave, that I think I'm going to be done before we even walk out of this room that I'm going to tell him he has to do that he's not going to do. But anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna, the pause, the pause, I, I'm going to coach him. That. I was like, I'm going to coach him harder than I've – I was like, I'm going to coach you hard. I will tell you exactly what to do. If you listen to me, I can guarantee your success. But I also know you're not going to listen to me. So this is like – this is my last he, – he gets one last chance with me. I'm a forgiving guy. I love – you know, I do like him like somewhere deep down, which is fucked up, uh, and because he's – done nothing but like badmouth us and like do shitty things to people we like i was like i'm gonna coach you hard i'm gonna do everything that i can do and i will make sure that like i put you in a position to succeed but if you don't listen to me you're out like you're out I, you're done with me. I, you're done with me i wish we had the recordings like just the video and we could string them into a montage of people's reactions yeah, when they found out he was oh, like people do not shock. He is he is if not, but not even just it's just yeah. shocks. Like, what do you mean he's back? Yeah, like even Sylvan's like, what Rico's back? Oh yeah, like people people couldn't believe it. Whitney was like, stunk. what the fuck? Yeah, like <laughs> what are you talking about? Because we were planning on having Whitney on. I want Dukes to read this um, text message that I, I can't sent. He's back. People are it, gonna say it's a bit. It, yeah, I, there's nothing we can do. This text there's message almost made me. I almost. I was with Dave all weekend, and it, on Friday I was like, "He wants to be back." Like, you know, it's up to you. By Saturday, after this text message, I was like, "I don't really know if I can handle this." All right. So what's what's the text message? I I told him what what did I say first? So you said call him Sunday. I that was me saying to Rico, call him Sunday. Call him this Sunday. is Saturday. This is after call we me. had yeah, the me. whole talk about how I'm going to coach him hard and he's either going to listen or not. But like that's it. He's got my last chance. This is what he wrote back. I'll see if I can squeeze it in. Oh wait, that was a direct order. Yes, coach. Then a winky face which made me yeah, want to winky puke. Face. I wanted to puke everywhere. Cuz it's a joke to him. He was like, "Yeah, you know, you're going to coach me tough." You're going to make me do some things. Ha, ha, ha. I'll see if I can squeeze it in. Now, the only thing I – we haven't heard Kirk's take on this. I've he, I've talked to Kirk a, a bunch. Now, the I'm curious what his take's going to be because Rico did make Odyssey look very stupid. Yeah, that's true. But I also I, – I mean, I think Kirk is, like, 
the the lines that Rico crossed with cons and other people, I think Kirk I'm not gonna speak for Kirk, but I know that like he probably thinks that's fucked up as well. Because how could you not? Right? And it's like you, you can take the you can take the shots from outside the house, you can take the shots from the people on the street. It's when you take the shots from the people sitting next to you and who are inside the house, that's the problem. That's when things get bad. Hank, I want to hear from you because you talked to him for an hour and a half after I talked to him for an hour on Friday. Yeah, I mean, we talked on the, we talked on the phone. I was on the way to Rough and Rowdy. He's like, I got a couple questions for you. I was like, Rico, I got three hours, so like, let's get into it. Basically broke the pick him down point by point. I was like, I need to, you know, what's your reaction when they say Rico only cares about Rico? Do you agree, disagree? And he started kind of arguing back. And I basically what I told him was the only way this is going to work out for you long term is if you so at this point he had already said he wanted to come back. And we were yeah. 25 minutes into the conversation. He's like, by the way, you know, I'm not taking that other job. I bust, I busted <laughs> out laughing. I busted out is- laughing, and he was like, "Oh, now you're against me too." Was about to hang up. I was like, "No, no, no!" But like, you realize how absolutely fucking ridiculous you sound. And what I said was just the only way it's going to work out for you long term is if you essentially reverse everything, every way that you acted. You have to act the opposite way, and you have to act like it's day zero. Your lowest person on the totem pole. And it, you have to act like it's day one of a new job. It's not three presidencies. It's not the no. past. Your body of work is nothing. You're, you're day one. So it's like no person that would come in here on day one would, would try and negotiate with you, would like argue with Dan or Dave. Like that's the attitude you have to have. All the people that you viewed as beneath you, which is crazy in the first place that you oh, if view everyone other beneath. employees beneath you, you have to accept that even though you don't like it, hypothetically, theoretically, these people are now above you and you have to like play with it you have to you know you have to play ball with them you have to like work with them because they're higher on the totem pole than you every single person is now higher on the totem pole than you and you have to just go into it for a year and put your head down and grind and then only after a year a couple years it's like then you can start to do other stuff but it's like you have to you have to look at it like it's day zero contract year i'm just gonna put my head down and grind and you know how ridiculous that sounds because remember rico was part-time for like five years and he would literally make fun of part-timers he would be like this part-time guy. It's like you're part-time, dude. So I, I don't know how he's going to repair. Well, like, and here, he, he was it, shocked, Dave, that people don't like him in this in this building. That it was cr- crazy. Well, that's the operative word, because everything that we've all said, and I said it to him on the phone. It's great. I I know. In a matter of days, a week, we're gonna be right back. To the same dynamic. And now, again, I said to him also on the phone, I'm not in the office. I still think Pickham is good. Rico, when he's sad, I think is entertaining. When he's happy, entertaining. Whatever, he's an entertaining guy. But he's also Looney Tunes, Fruit Loops. And he, it's when when he says he got it, he don't got it. He's never going to got it. He's just a guy who was born without the gut it switch. He lives on a different planet. I don't know what planet he's on. It's a very interesting one. Um... And, but it ain't Earth. No. And and we know that. And we brought him back in. And and who knows? I mean, again, people are like, well, what can you say? How could anybody in their right mind see this, what just transpired in the past week? Now, in the past Rico, five months, like, Dave. Like, he was, like, he what, was out the door for the past five months. Yeah, how long did... Let's get into some of the details. How long... Did you know you were leaving? I know the answer to this, so let's see if he answers honestly. This is a problem for him now. Look, looking July. Yes, that's correct. And and when what? No, nothing. What and when were you like? All right, I'm I'm taking the other job. Because why were you still pushing for the contract? The day with Snowden when you choked him. You choking him ended the whole relationship? I thought that that was the, yeah, in my head, that was kind of like the final straw. You thought that you thought you could choke him for a new contract? <laughs> yeah. I, Dave, I don't, I, he's, he's, he's going to be, he's, 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 we're going to need, Dave, we're gonna he can't need do a this. lot of stuff Dave, he can't do we're gonna need He's a lot trying of to stuff. do it right now, Dave. He's trying he's to play trying ball. To I'll give him credit. It. Well, what I should have realized. I'll give him credit. He's trying to play ball right now, but he, you no, can it's, see you know, his you head. Got, it's he part doesn't of the, want to. It's part of the change. Dave's making fun of a 
chokehold. Obviously, I didn't chokehold him. What I should have realized is, I well, think, yeah, you might have. Yeah, metaphorically. Yeah, no, you might have. Dave would know a chokehold, <laughs> so I think you know he's just admiring my form. Maybe that's, that's what it was. Roll with the joke. Day zero yeah, guy. Day zero guy. All right, so yes. Rico, I'll, I'll throw. No, I like that. Well, idea. I thought. All right, yeah. Part of that I'll, was. I'll throw this we had, out there. Yeah, okay. I'll throw this out there. Uh, I've told you that I will give you a chance to to listen to me and 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 listen to my coaching, and you'll actually like, you know, maybe have success. Here's coaching number one. And I guarantee you he won't be able to do this, Dave. You need to unblock every single person that you have blocked. Every single person you have blocked, you need to unblock. Start fresh. Every single person. That will show me that you can live in the content world and actually tune out the noise and not get triggered to the point where you are creating burner accounts to attack other people in this office. See, and and Dan and I don't always agree. Like I, I'm on the assumption that you, you know, you won't listen to anybody. Yeah, no, I, he I probably won't. He probably won't. But I, I won't even. I, to me, it's like you just can't block anybody because that will. If we're trying to help him. No, I am. But this is the way. But unblocking those people who just come at him and test them and it'll break. This is the way. You can mute just people. Mute them. You can mute people. This is the but way. It, it, that, that's why he says he can't work. Because he but, sits around mute. But, Dave, this day. is my my strategy here is I'm trying to rebuild Rico to the point that he can actually live in the right. content world. I, see, he, and, and if, we, if I just say to him, you're back and nothing's changed. He's not going to – He's. we're going to be sitting in the exact same spot next uh, year, and he's well, going to be are. like, you didn't help me. And I, Well, he, we, yeah. he, he's a crazy person. Well, he's, I, in his, so, he, he's incapable of help. That's why I'm saying if anybody should be arrested – well, I said to him, I need you to sign a contract with me that when you snap and destroy somebody or something, I'm not held responsible because rationally speaking, the right thing for me to – I'm – Rico put me in a really terrible situation as somebody who likes Rico. I bring him back, and, and I know it's not good for his mindset. He's not built for it. He's a looney tune. Or I don't take him back, and he goes crazy somewhere else. Maybe we can. The only place Rico is built for is Siberia, to be alone in the wilderness with his thoughts. So – that's Dave's perspective, and I understand it. And I should have Dave's perspective. Like I should, I'm too forgiving, and I I give too many chances. I should I should just be like Dave and just be like, whatever, dude. Like you just do your thing. I'll just do my thing. Whatever. I do actually care about you. Will you take me up on the unblocking of everyone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll negotiate at a later date. Well, no, no, no. Let's negotiate right now. What are we talking about? I know there's like a hundred people you can't unblock. That's fine, but I want your block. I want your block list to be under a thousand people. No problem. Okay. All right. So there All right. we go. I, I, and I want start. it to I, stay I, I, under a thousand people. No problem. Okay, we'll be right back to this in a second. Uh, quick word from our friends at Roman. Do you want a better sex life? If so, you're not alone. Up to 50% of men have symptoms that get in the way of wanting or enjoying sex, but Roman is here to help. Roman is a digital health clinic for men. Roman addresses a variety of sexual health needs for men, and Roman offers genuine medication that helps achieve and maintain a strong erection. Roman offers discreet wipes that help you last four times longer in bed, and Roman offers a testosterone test, which includes lab processing and is appropriate for you, treatment for low testosterone in men with low T. Getting testosterone levels back to normal can help increase your libido. At Roman, there are no waiting rooms and no hassle. It's just straightforward digital experience from the comfort of home. If medication or testing is appropriate, Roman will send it directly to you, right to your door. Everything arrives in discreet packaging with free two-day shipping. To learn more about how you can achieve your personal sexual health goals, go to ro.co slash pick'em today to get 20% off your entire first order. That's ro.co slash pick'em, ro.co slash pick'em. So when if I just randomly am like, Rico, let me see your Twitter account, and I pull it up, it could be $9.99. You can audit it, yeah. It could be nine ninety nine. I don't care. But that, to me, proves that you're starting to go to a point where, hey, people can say shit online, and it won't make me go fucking crazy and create burner accounts and attack everyone in this office. And you kind of summed up 
what your fundamental issue is, and it, it I don't think it's going to change. You can dish it, can't take it. Like, if you got that mad about the Jay Snowden choke joke, like, we're in a joke world. Right. We're in a bus balls world. Like, it, it just shows for people how nutty you are. Like, that was the final straw, that. So, I'm also curious. So, you just didn't tell? I mean, again, I don't, I, I don't like agents. I'm never going to cry for agents. So, you just accept the job. I heard you actually had to meet with executives at Odyssey to be like, yep, I'm coming, I'm coming. On the Is phone, that true? yeah, on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> and he just work. turned around and was like, "Please take me back." It's, it's that man, it's Grandpa Simpson. He's yeah. walked to the what, door. What? Yeah, right. Well, you just uh, all right. So, yeah. so what made I you? Mean, they were talking about it. What, what made you? They change? were talking yeah. about it on yeah the show. The fan. Oh, we see this Rico. They knew you were coming at that point, right? So what? Yeah. What made you change? Like, what happened in those forty-eight hours? Was yeah, it listening happened? to the Pickham? What what made you change your mind so drastically that you were literally walking out the door? I took your key cards. I had to because we've had fucking people just showing up. I took your key cards. You also said the door was open downstairs. That I, I don't know. What do you mean? I was like, how'd you get in? He's like, the door downstairs was open. Which one? Downstairs. Either the downstairs door is open. Yeah. Oh, it is. Get yeah. in the yeah. lobby. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I know, but to get up here. Oh no, I don't know how. How got did up you here. get up the elevator? Sorry for the point, but how did you get up the elevator? I just hit it. I swear to God. Oh, it, sh it, sh it, it was supposed to be locked. Um, so what happened? What changed? What what went on in your brain? Self reflection. Yeah, and that that quickly, even though you were you basically had a foot out the door for five months. So five months a foot out the door, and then two, thirty six hours a foot, both feet out the door, and you're like, nope. Yeah, you look at it like, hey. Maybe I got to change. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Right. He said that to me again. It, 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 it is a great thought. I, I don't, there's not 0.00001% of me that thinks Rico can change. He is who he is. And fundamentally it's, he takes, and, and it's such a, it's such a tough thing because it's what I said why I, I – there is a part that's like, oh, what are you doing? Because him getting that mad about like, hey, you had snowed in a chokehold, that's or, what or, makes Rico tick. That's so funny and like raw and is. real. Yes. But then he goes home and he's, you know, he, he, he's putting me on a list and he's like, I'm out of here. And he's calling up the H-man and Putin and he's like, what are we going to do? Like, so, I mean, it's just – I, it is. It, he's a complicated. What? How do you get the best of Rico? Yeah, it is but hard. Then turn around, you, you, and he, he attempted murder in the office. And, and and that's something I struggle with because I agree. Like the best of Rico is when he's like, I didn't put him in a chokehold, or when he scores a goal <laughs> on the do and then flips out at everyone. But I also <laughs> no, that's crazy. for like he's crazy. He's crazy. The person that he is that I actually care about. I want him to be in a good mindset to be able to right. do this job. So that's why right. I want to actually help him. But he can't. But I don't. So that's right. But I'm going to try because I. And I, I think. I, that's Dan, just that's who a, I am. Dan, that's why he doesn't get that some people may not like him. Right. Because the people he's so mean to, he doesn't even see them as living creatures. Like he's in his own head where those people are over the wall. Those are those are the worst of the worst. He once he compartmentalizes you as bad. You're bad for life forever. He, you don't. He also it, it, he also doesn't realize if he like if he's mean to one person, that person does have friends in the office, and they also oh, yeah. like that has never clicked for him. Where it's like, if I'm just a shithead to cons, maybe Kate doesn't like me. I'm not speaking for Kate, but like maybe someone else does. You know what I mean? Like if I'm a shithead to this person. Maybe some other, like, if I'm mean to Big T, maybe Billy doesn't like, you know what I mean? Like, all these people, he doesn't realize they, they, are, they, they are not, like, just singular entities. They actually, like, have other friends in the office. I, do you think, should I try to coach you or no? Should I leave you alone? Should I leave you alone and just let you do whatever you want to do? I'll do whatever you want to do. No, you were, I mean, we've had a 
few conversations. Yeah, it's part of you said it. Final four. What? What's that? Bring me back to the final four. I said that. Okay. Wait, what? When we spoke Friday, you're like, I'm going to coach you up. We'll see if we can get you to the final four. You're going to want to quit. 50 different oh, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that was March yeah. Madness streams with Nadu. That was brought up. Nadu will be well, on. Oh, yeah, I brought that straight yeah. up. I go, we're not, like, there is no, I don't want this guy there, that, the, yeah. the, people are there. They're, they're, they work for the company. Right, and that um, is part of the zero. coaching, where it's like, hey, you these people are going to be here. You either can deal with it, or you can not show up, which is fine, but then Dave's going to be like, you're not doing your job, which is Rico, also. What, did you, what, what, were you 100% convinced you're going to get your job back? No. I, I never, with you asking back as quickly as you did, I would have no problem. The cons thing, I told you that was a problem for me. He he greenlit it, and I, he greenlit it earnestly. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's because you are good for content. I don't care what people yeah. say. Yeah, I think it, that's it, part it, of the I, reason, too, is like you can have a little self-pride. You are good at this. Like, I'm not people going to spin it, you're spatting yourself on the back, but like, yeah, I mean – how are you going to do? Th- what were you doing? At yeah, the how other are thing? you? A three, how are three you hour three hours hour show? of radio? Was that you with somebody else? Like, what was who? That? What were you going to do when day what one? What type of maniac? People would fucking sign up for a three yeah. hour show and, with you? But, <laughs> was it a three, was it alone? Or what, did you have a co? And the biggest question, Dave, is what was he going to do day one when people call him and troll him? Oh my god! But if uh, we talked, about, I said to somebody. I forget I was talking ago. That would have been the greatest show of all time if it was just nonstop trolls with him literally every night on the verge of shooting himself in the brain. Like that, <laughs> I, like just three hours straight of people calling up, saying your name, doing that. Like what would you have done? What would you that's have done? What, that's what WFAN or QL, they have no, no idea. They're like, oh, he's funny. What a bit. They really got that. No, I said this. If Rico, if I knew Rico, and he walked into my office today, but he had never worked here, but I knew what he was. He's like, I want a job. I'm like, no, I don't want to be within a hundred miles of you. You, I'm going to put a restraining order on you. He's our Rico. He, he he, that's it. It's it. It's, but, all, it's the only place he can be. Whoever, whoever, for your, <laughs> if your agent knows the truth, he should be in jail. Whoever was hiring him at Odyssey and putting this maniac with those people should be in jail. We, They dodged the greatest bullet ever of all time. What did they think this guy was going to do? You were going to do a three-hour radio show with who? Were you, were you, were you most nervous about on Pick'em when I told Dukes I'm going to need a file every month? I was really looking forward there's to that. No, because that also, Dave, I think there might have been a small part of him like, I have to give picks, and what happens when I lose a 50-burger on month one? <laughs> Who who are you doing the show with? They were two get. They were two co-hosts. Who? Did you talk to them? You already no. burned the bridges. The 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 the, the ship is broken. You you no, can't go. You literally can't go anywhere but here. Who who are the? This is your home. Stuck. You're you, stuck. You created <laughs> yeah. a hell for yourself that you can't even believe. You do have a job for life, but but my God, you made it more difficult. <laughs> that was that was part of the thing. I was like, Rico, you got to just you know tell yourself when you wake up, like I have a job for life. I have a job for life. He's like, but do I? But do I? But do yeah, I? No, like, can't, he, I, yeah, no, he can't. Yeah, he just signed his contract he, and shut he, up. He didn't like the one year aspect. He's like, I don't want to have to negotiate every year. And then I saw him. This is the duality of Rico, where he's like, I had to negotiate on air. I looked at his likes, and it was like someone was like. Best pick of all time, best numbers is when you negotiated on air, and he liked it. It's like, well, do you want it one way or the other? Like you were, well, I, I feel like, like you were part, watching yeah. the pick him like smiling, like yeah, like, like you're a bit of a masochist. Oh yeah, yeah. Who, who was the show with? It was two co-hosts. I don't. Were we giving him pro? I don't know. Yeah, we're giving him props. Promo. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're 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 no, we're literally we're literally telling these people that they dodged the biggest life. bullet of all we, time. We saved like your life. your your life would have been they over. Have time to get us yeah. a Hanukkah yeah. present. Yeah, they need to be like, thank <laughs> you who so about, much. Who was on the verge of having their life ruined? <laughs> ruined. <laughs> ruined. Three hours like, in a radio ruined. booth every Imagine day. Three hours. It was you do a little insult to him with him. I, yeah. He's going to hit you over the head with the microphone, storm out. Be like, hey, Rico, uh, you know, the fact that you picked this team because they scored 60 points last week and they only scored 20. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't fucking say that. <laughs> you would have lost it. These people, their life flashed they before lost. their eyes. 
They owe us. Uh, who who are they? They literally are the like luckiest two human luckiest beings of all time. Go play the Powerball. You can't, because that's the other part. It's like, not only is Rico only built for this place, I think you and me, Dave, are the only two people who are built for Rico. Yeah. Like, because he, everyone else in this company is like, I don't I know, man. I can't imagine. Hey, this is your new co-host. You're doing three hours a day <laughs> with this maniac. <laughs> Oh my God, those people! That's like that. These are like people. Wait, by the way, he, where, look, every one of the calls is going to be a troll, yeah. and he's going to try to kill the people. He's going to strangle the operator on the phone to get the info, emails, numbers of these people. He, he, he wouldn't have lasted a day and a half. This like, doing this is like this. The, a story of like someone you know missing a flight and then it crashes. <laughs> it's like oh, I have a new lease on life. <laughs> Who's the guy from Family Guy? Oh, man. That Peter happened to Seth him. <coughs> yeah, it happened to him. And Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Joe Ostrowski and Aaron Hulk I know Swerve. Joe. Joe's a great guy. He would. Uh, that, I, I, I know him personally, Chicago guy. I'm going to hit him up and be like, you're lucky, dude. Right. You're so lucky. You're Who so lucky. Who's the other guy? It's okay. a girl named Aaron Hawksworth. Oh man. You, oh, I know Aaron Hawksworth. Yeah, dude, oh, these people are did. nice people. This Joe's a, a nice did, person. Dan, we did mitzvah yes. today. Yes. I'm going <laughs> to hit up we, Joe we right did. now. I'm going to hit up Joe right Aaron. now. It's like yeah. Aaron you seen but oh. Dude, I'm going to be like oh. Joe. You don't understand. We saved your life. Literally, quite literally. Who is the station director over there? They deserve to be in Behind bars. Do they do no research or do they think you're Robert De Niro? Like they think this is like an act. You turn it on and off. I think I could turn it on and off. <laughs> yeah, all right, buddy. You quit. I didn't Sorry. quit. No, you what? I left. Quit. All right, I'm, I'm hitting up. I'm I'm hitting up Joe right now. I'm saying, oh man. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Where, I said fair, I said to point. Joe, oh you man, did. Rico was going to do a show with you. We saved your life. You would have been miserable. All caps. You he would. I know Joe. He's a nice guy. Very good guy. You would have made his life hell. These people. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think you know that too. No, I don't. It's putting a wild animal in with like two little. Cups. Like, we should make him do a three-hour radio show by himself. <laughs> to no one. <laughs> you, you, so you were just gonna take live callers? You thought that How would work? That there were work? not a lot of callers. Like you guys are. Well, like, not until you showed up. Not till you came around. If there was a number and you tweeted out <laughs> I don't the number, think there was a number. There was gonna be live you, callers. There was no calls. No. You did three hours without calls. That's what I think it was. That yeah. might be worse. That's, I mean, that's. It's really boating my confidence. Well, we got to build you back up. You're yeah. at zero. Hank said you're at zero. Yeah. Now, all, all kidding aside, you made the right decision. Oh, 100%. This is a dream job. Everyone who's ever left here has definitely, you know, there's people have had success. So there's, there's a lot of people who've gone and had great success. But anyone who's in Rico's shoes. Nobody, nobody's moving to Odyssey from here. It, on That's his level, sure. he, he, he would have regretted it every single and day. That, that, it, well, it was a, how long a contract was it? Three. Yeah, no way that would have been. I, you, you wouldn't have fulfilled. No, you made maybe two and a half months. No, I said, yeah, no, I said, Dave. I said to Hank, I was like, Rico will go there and he'll be able to hang for a couple months, and then he's gonna see us whooping it up on a live stream with March Madness, and he's gonna be like, I made the biggest mistake of my life. Because those are the times I, that Rico loves, and I love when Rico's there. Like, those are the moments. And no other job believe. has those. I, I just can't. The whole turn of events. I mean, it, I, I totally believe it. I can't believe you actually were like, I'm leaving. I'm out. I'm not renewing the contract. I'm going somewhere else. The reunion tour talk, all that stuff. I can't believe it got to that point. I'm just gonna say I thought that was a bluff. I think I'm on record saying there's a. Ch I thought you you didn't yeah. actually even have yeah. the deal. Yeah, that you faked it all because you wanted us to just be like, no, please. There don't was go. thoughts that fell through. Yeah, and it might have. 
It's tough to, to it be might accused have. of being a liar, but that's part oh, of Oh, you have lied. Okay. You have right. lied. Well, with yeah, other yeah, no, I, I was, that was wrong. You, lie every, you lie every episode. You've lied. Well you lied. You've lied many times. I definitely thought that was the case. You, 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 you How pin, many unit you, you, you bet on the Heisman Trophy? You, <laughs> you, you pin everything on your soldiers and when I know it's you. Right. Well, he, yeah. for the first time. He started going down with the cons. He's like, well, it wasn't me. I yeah. had a conversation with one of my uh, Gestapos, and he he went rogue. I'm like, that's you. Yeah, that's you. Like, if, like Hitler, when his guy throw, like goes all rogue, throws a couple extra Jews in the oven, it's still you. Dave. It's still you. There's a law for it. You know what the name of it is? What? It's the RICO Act. It literally is a law. <laughs> That's how the mafia went down. A mafia boss says, go kill a guy. He doesn't have to pull the trigger. He said, go kill a guy. He's going to jail, too. You're literally like your little soldiers. Yeah. And I that's don't, you. Life your imitates little, art. Yeah. Your little soldiers worry me. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do with the with, with like, do you have a message? Because, uh, you could I could see them. You losing control of that. Right. So do you have a message for them? Because, like, is that going to be part of the change? That you're going to not have people, like, attack other people? Yeah, I haven't talked. I mean, listen. I haven't talked to them. There hasn't been an organized group in a while. Yeah, no, you split up. So plausible deniability. I know what you Correct. did. Correct. They're factions. Yeah. They're, they're right. sleeper cells. We found you the hype sleeper circle. sleeper cells yeah. all over the place. Yeah, we found the hype circle. So you're like, hype circle, scram to the woods, and I'll, <laughs> I'll you'll know when I need you. So, are you have a message for them? Are you going to tell them to put, put stand down, put the put the put sword their down? Names on, can we get their names so we can try put trackers on them? Because they are you. Like you, if someone attacks someone's family in this, you see this it house, every terrorist movie. Yeah. They're going to run Where, to Argentina. Uh, that's you. Yeah, there's a terrorist who thinks the leader isn't being hardcore enough and <laughs> splinters off and blows up a building. Right. So, what what's the message to them? Peace times. Let's rebuild. Focus on ourselves. That means that war times might be. Coming. Yeah, that is. That's <laughs> true. I think we need. I, I think what we need is we need like nuclear need disarmament. Yeah, we need Geneva. Yeah, no, we need we need Rico to nuclear disarm. Well, that's why we need to know where the nukes are. Yeah, right. You and we'll go find them. Yeah, few have gotten out of hand. I don't really communicate with them. <laughs> yeah, no shit, well, the, right. no shit they have. No shit they have. Way out of hand. Do you have a message? Yes, yeah, stand down. Stand down. Stand Rebuild. back and stand down. Listen, Rico, I honestly got I'm glad you're back. I th I I've always like I said on the show, the pick'em would never be the same without you. It would have been different. We would have made it work, but y you are a unique guy. I just know you know, it's the number one college I, show. Do it you really know that is. I would have was there a part of you in your head knowing like you've been around me a long time. You know me very well. Was there a part of you that was scared knowing that, like, I would work harder than I've ever worked on anything? That's literally what he said to me. I about said it. I was like, I he's will like, work. He, 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 you unleashed. You reinvigorated. <laughs> yeah. the day. He's like, I am going yeah, he to. Was... Yeah, I'm never going to sleep. I'm going to make sure that we find <laughs> yeah. the craziest person in the world and make pick them better than ever. I was going we to do that. Have a, yeah, you were a, going. A lineup of lunatics coming yeah. in here. Oh, like it would have been incredible. It would have been yeah, an incredible you know, season. You were going hard. Yeah, no, because I, I mean, what, that's how, when I when I get pushed in a corner, I work my way out of it. I don't pout. I will now, too. There we go. I, I hope so. Yeah. I, listen, I'm glad you're here. I, there is legitimately, I told you, I, like, I have no answers because I don't think you can change. And I don't think it's because you don't want to change. I think it's because you're... Uh, what, like, what Hank is this, Hank is cackling. What, I just I love Dave being like I let you back even though I know you're not going to change. change yeah, he's not going to change. The synapses in his brain don't work the same way. He, if if you let somebody get in there and look at the way his brain works, they're going to be like, "Holy fuck, he's messed up. He's his brain is some sort of brain we've never seen." If we don't know that by now, anybody's listening to this, there's no no part of him that has been a shtick a bit no nope. ever no nope. he is nope. every bit as loony as you think he is and never got it never listen, got it never he, got he it. he was six inches to a potentially murdering somebody in his office so like i know that so how can you take him back in dave knowing that i don't know <laughs> so 
That's why I almost need the release. Yeah, I listen. Or the straight jacket. We made fun of it, but uh, honestly, it's 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 the the, the that Hannibal Lecter. Just when he comes in, put him in the let him go crazy. Put the but put him in the Lecter suit so he can't kill anybody. Dave, I'm gonna do brain surgery. I'm gonna get inside that brain and I'm gonna try to figure out where the synapses yeah, listen, are broken. I, I think it was fucked up before I got here, but what? Your Wait, brain? who was? The brain. T- oh, you. Duh. Are we duh. Uh, yeah. Rico. Duh. But, but I, I definitely took some helmet to helmets while I was here. No. Yeah. No, no, Dude, no, no. That's, that but is the other helmet skin. was also you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like yeah. The, it was like a helmet to helmet into a wall. Fair was enough. it Bobby Bristol? No, no, no. I think no, you guys Rico. are wearing helmets Patrick sometimes, Ramsey, Rico, too. you've been <laughs> fucked up since. This is, this is a misconception. You have been fucked up since day one. Remember that guy who had your name, and he's like, if you don't delete every Gottlieb tweet <laughs> you've ever done, I'm going to release it. You went back, deleted every one. We went out to dinner, Lugers, and when we're trying to Smith. get you full time, and, and, and it's like, Rico, you can't take things seriously. You can't. He's like, yup, I know. It's just fun and games. I get it. It's like, who cares who did it? Yup, I got it. Got it. We walked to dinner. This may have been it. Dan was already in his car. You were with me. After two hours of being like, you're not going to take commenters seriously. You won't. Yup, yup. You looked at me and you go, but seriously, what was that guy's name? <laughs> Give me his email. And I knew from that point forward, you were a demented human. And you're, you're demented. This business isn't for you. You need to be in a world where nobody knows who you are. You just go do your nine to five. You crack some jokes on the side in your living room. This world. Yeah, I'm but a- you've also said I'm good at it, though. Yeah, no? you are. You are. Okay. You are. But but you you are. But it obviously affected but your you. madness. Right. Is yeah, part definitely of what did. Makes yeah, it great. you you said yourself it affected your life. So that's the part I'm going to try to rebuild. And you're going to have. And to, it's unfair to expect people to lay off they're not gonna they're gonna no. come tent like you basically That's in a like a bullfight this stunt you just did you're just waving that flag <laughs> like come and gore me come and get me that's what you've done all right more pick them in a second quick word from our friends at omaha steaks the holidays are here achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged tender and delicious Omaha Steaks. Omaha Steaks have put together a delicious selection of various gift packages to make shopping for the ones you love nice and easy. Go to omahasteaks.com and take advantage of 50% off site-wide. Plus, use code PICKEM at checkout to get an additional $40 off your order. Omaha Steaks has everything you need to give a gift that's simply perfect. Send in an assortment of mouth-watering favorites like the delicious Butcher's Cut Filet Mignon, Air-chilled boneless chicken, ultra-juicy burgers, and even easy-to-prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Don't wait. Order today and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com and use promo code PICKEM at checkout. Omaha Steaks is a gift from the heart, a gift that will be remembered with every unforgettable bite. Order with complete confidence today, knowing you're ordering the best. Visit omahasteaks.com. Take advantage of 50% off site-wide. Plus, use promo code PICKEM at checkout to get the extra $40 off your order. Minimum order may be required. OmahaSteaks.com. Use code PICKEM. You get $40 off your order, and there's 50% off site-wise. So use that code PICKEM and get the gift of meat this holiday season. I'm going to ride you. No riders. Not not saying let's ride. I said I'm going to ride you. I'm going to fucking put a saddle on you. I'm going to whip you, and I'm going to ride you. Yeah. And uh, and you're gonna and I'm gonna uh, make you a Kentucky Derby horse because right now you're a mule. Yes. And will you be able to take the riding? Day by day. It's gonna be tough love. It's gonna be the hardest coaching job I've ever done in my life. Day by day. But I'm up for the challenge. Because I, I got say. easy coaching. Jer- 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 Jerry's a dream coach. I just and, and I will say. Yes. I say whatever. <laughs> what? No. Well, no. <laughs> this is part of the riding that he's not gonna be able to take. It's also laughing at it. But this is a test. Jersey Jerry, yeah. I tell no, no, Jerry to do something, he does it. I got it. <laughs> and I will say, I it will does say, seem like though in film session there is this is not a lot of because individual co- film he's sessions because he's coachable. He says okay. yes, coach. Got he it. never says but, but, oh no no no. And I don't you want don't to do take it. the things, Rico. The little things like you you do have things that you do that don't involve being like the butt of a joke or, or going nuts like your writing is very good you're like the when you're on advisors that's funny you just you don't hear anything except the negative, negative. right it's the new shot he hits the new shot it's a win for rico everyone sees it as a win he sees it as only the worst thing ever 
That that seemingly ha- also That's, started forcing you out, right? When you yes. scored that goal, yes, that was a potential last. I'm gonna have too, to get. Yeah. I'm gonna have to find yeah. those synapses. I'm gonna have to fucking open up your they, skull they, they, and figure out they, where this. Where we the gotta donate that thing to science when it's done. Can we Will you agree right have now? To donate. Will you agree right now? To donate my brain? Yes. So get, when you're dead. When yeah. you're dead. Am I get a cut? No, you don't get a cut. What? <laughs> yeah, donate the brain. Nothing. All right, that's official. Yeah. We're donating his brain. Yeah. Because I would like to. Wow. Yeah, I'll break that one down. Wow. Good luck with that. I am happy you're back. I think it's going to be a very tough road up. I don't know if we're. I don't know if this horse can ride all the way to the top of the mountain, but I'm going to try to ride him. America loves a comeback. That's. And listen, I'm a sucker for second chances. I am. I talked to you for an hour on Friday. I'm a sucker for him. Yeah. I just. I would have loved to like be there in your brain around when you realize like whoops i really made a poo poo that's a good question was that did that happen before you watched the pick or after when was the final decision you're coming back i don't know if it was i mean like i did it out of i didn't do it you're driving back to Staten Island. You did like, it I out of kind of like decision, and then yeah, you got home, I and we're like, yeah. "I made the right decision." Took a shower. I, I made the right somewhere decision. somewhere in those seventy-two hours of chaos. Like you woke up the next. Were, day. were you? Uh, but but you were one hundred percent like, "I'm out." Even, like you told them that you accepted the job and told us you were gone. Yeah. You had a heart to heart with Feidelberg. He said, "Yeah, he apologized to Big T." I had no. We're we're cool. That, I mean, well, sure, sure. You, you tried to murder yeah, him, and he forgave you. He might just be like, "I, I we're cool because I don't want to get a can in my head again." <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> who's hiring these people? Did they not see that clip? Did they think that was staged? Like, what are you is. doing over there, honestly? Dude, you're dying at this job. You're 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 here till for life, for life. Can we put that in writing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he wants it. Yeah, but you know, he is. He's here for life. Uh, he ain't going anywhere ever again. We're not playing. Rico, this were you game. hoping that I didn't get you the contract on the day that I said I would, was? Oh yeah. No, I thought that the whole, like, the only way to negotiate on camera was you being like, "All right, yeah, we'll do this, do this," and then behind closed doors, you were like, "You're my guy. What do you need? What, here's a back and forth." Like, but there was none of that. That part yeah. of it went nuts too. That's like I tried to have a normal conversation with you Friday. It got heated. I was like, "All right, I respect." I mean, it's it's his. You know, wait. He said Friday. You mean after you no, quit? Before. No, before. Before. Remember you called Remember me last Dave? Friday. You were like, you're you're like flipping out. Oh yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, call yeah, Rico yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, no right. Sense. because you're yeah. that's your crazy person. Yeah. You weren't doing anything. He, he Dave called me. Was like, call Rico, and I told you. Uh, yeah. I echoed exactly. By the way, what that's said. what I don't get credit for. Yeah. Because I called Dan to be like, talk him down because you like him more than me. And I was like, I, I don't want you to go like crazy. It's like, I was just yelling at Rico. In fairness, I didn't never once raise my voice in either conversation on last Friday. Yeah, no, I didn't say you raised your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you raised your voice to Hank, I think. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but I yeah, he Dave called me and was like, talk him down. And that was before we agreed to the coaching contract. So you didn't listen to anything I said, which I understand. That was past Rico. Now you're going to listen to everything I say. Yeah, that was – yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, that was two weeks ago yeah, when right. I told you, hey, Dave's giving you a one-year contract. All you have to do is blog 15 times a week. If you don't even like the job, that's a great job to have. And you're like, no, it's not. You I'm know not- what? My, my issue – my issue, and we're probably ready to pick up at some point here, but – if I'm being frank, I like love everything Rico brings to the table right up to the line. But I, you can't stop him from going over the line. We're That's gonna, what the gonna, problem yeah, that stop last him. year we're has been. Him. Like, if you can just grab the can and glare at Big T, fine. But he throws the can. If you can just be like cons without yeah. getting extracurricular and going so far below the belt, fine. But Rico... And it, so how do you get that? How do you get all the magic without then well, turn around? It's like, oh, well, no shit that happened. He's a nutty person. He's a lunatic. Yeah. Well, it's it's literally. Uh, maybe it's like a blood pressure device <laughs> that I have when it gets to a certain point. I can just shock him to like knock him out. 
Like is, tase them. I was like thinking this wear, is this is. I was thinking tape. like office hours on Twitter. Like for certain hours, I'm just not looking at stuff. Yes, that's what I do like a do- every like night. A de- like a dentist. When I go home every night, I don't look at my phone for an hour and a half while I'm playing with my kids. I just, whatever, I'm there with them. It doesn't matter what people are saying. We're going to figure it out. I, I, it might be like uh, like Goodwill Hunting, the, the fucking equation in the whole class. I'm, I'm part of that class just sitting there being like, this makes no sense to me. That might be the case. But maybe I'm able to figure it out. Maybe I'm able to crack the code. Maybe I'm able to because it's like we don't want to subdue Rico. No, we don't. But we 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 but want. But we don't want to murder a Rico either. And I so also like- I also don't want a Rico that is. And this is speaking from the heart. I don't want a Rico that is miserable all the time. Totally. Like I don't want him to personally not like this job because it's a great job to have. It's a dream job. So that's the hardest part is how to find a balance where he's like, I can get made fun of. But I still love my job. And I still react like a nut person to get made fun of because it does bother me. But I can breathe deep and move on. It doesn't stick with me. And I don't go home and threaten to throw myself off my roof because he's going to DJs without me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we said some things that we hadn't said in eight years, nine years. What, me and you? Yeah. 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 I thought you were – there was a point in the conversation where this is the last thing and then we could do some picks where I thought Rico was going to basically be like, you know, you and Dave did some things, I did some things. Let's just wipe it all clean and just pretend <laughs> none of this happened. <laughs> no, that's part of it. We do – I mean, listen, it's like, you know, I, again, I thought you got – like uh, I told my buddies I was going back and they were like – they kind of looked at it like, hey, this is like kind of like an abusive uh, boyfriend, like going back. I wouldn't say it's that bad. I look at it but as kind of like – But you – you're <laughs> I look at it as kind of like but with, Cain and Abel, but, right? But, so, like, your brothers, but one of them tried to kill him, and I guess, <laughs> and then also <laughs> also time threatened, out, time out, also time threatened out, to put him out, into a life of time wandering. Out, time but out. at the end, your brothers. Right, right. But also... I know Dave the, only reads the, the Old abu- Testament. Abusive relationship is you, you, you bring the abuse on yourself by the way you interact with everyone. Yeah. Got it. You don't got, got it. it. No, 100%. <laughs> listen, I, I know that. Did you did you send writers after me by any chance? Oh, of course it did, Dukes. Everyone, see, Dukes. No, okay. I, not, I didn't listen, know. I, he, no, because we're, we're, we are actually buddies, I think, right? No, Dukes, listen. You sent writers after Dukes? I, I mean, he said, at what you point, know he was though, trashing right, me and you, Dave. Like, we're trying to keep this. At, at what point do you, you get called a liar that, like, is this you're just zero. what the part you're of how we're going to live? Zero. You're at zero. Zero is zero. not negative, though. Liars well, are negative. Well, did you send riders after? Can you just after please say no? <laughs> Can you just say no? I mean, I think you sent riders. I think you personally went after me and Dave. No, no. I, I don't actually think that. I don't think that you did. Somebody was in my DMs being like, don't fuck with me. I was like, I didn't even talk last episode. My spirit inspires a ton of people to then go out and act like <laughs> fucking wackos. But I don't have, like, this whole us against the world mentality. Like, it is like the Lost Boys. Like, I... <laughs> Teach them what I say to put it in them to be like I'm gonna like I'm gonna be better, but I don't communicate with them. I just your arm has gotten too like, big. It's like Stan, like he never met the guy, but he's like, yo, your music connects with me. What about YouTube con- commenters? That See that a lot. Are you at what point though? Like we went back twelve times on text. Like if if that's where we're at. Yeah, I mean, right. listen, this is part There's of it. You have to rebuild not... all your trust. Okay, you have to rebuild your trust. That's a fact. But I thought we handled that beforehand. No, I you, you're tr- I have zero trust in you right now. Great. But what? I do. Okay. You, uh, you can rebuild it. That, day, who has trust in a day zero employee? Right. That's the point. I think you're, you're missing that I point. I thought we handled that. We, I don't. I do not trust you right now. <laughs> I will hopefully get back to trusting you. That's the part where I don't. I think you're still going to come back and be like, I've been here forever. Yeah. Right. No. You're reset. This you is your first day at, at Barstool. Bat Boy Bosco. Bat Boy Bosco. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you got to look at it. what what he said. He called here, himself Bat Boy Bosco. <laughs> Bat Boy, yeah. You got to look at it as simply as this. You're back here. So clearly, like, there's something that we like. Right. Or care. Like, how many people can do what you did and then be sitting here right now? Not many. Not many. So that has to be. And it's never been good enough for you. 
right now, that has to be good. Has enough. to be. That's got to be where you start with just the fact that you're sitting with us and you're sitting at Barstool. That's got to be good enough. Yeah. And then we build off of that. Yeah. That right there is pretty good. D- Dave's right. Like, there's no one who could do, could have these events transpire and then be sitting right here after leaving. Right. No, I mean, you guys took a chance on me for sure. So. We kind of want to just unfinish business. I want to see it all the way through. And since you're so a day, that, that's what it is. We're moving from the final dance to <laughs> unfinished, unfinished business. business. What a all last right. dance it's been. Yeah, couldn't have made it up. Only, and that that is <laughs> when people are like there is nothing else they can do. They run their course. <laughs> yeah, I well, I can't no. wait till when, next. When you season, have a, what are we going to come up with? <laughs> yeah, when you have a brain that is demented. Dwarf, stunt, I don't know, whatever is going on in that noggin of yours. The, yeah, you're going to get some crazy stuff because it's a non functioning brain. Since you're a day zero guy, if you don't get any resources for whatever you want to do, I'm a lending hand for you. Appreciate it. I will. Right now, focus on the blogs. Somebody this weekend came up to me and goes, I'm going to miss Rico's blogs a lot. That's He's a, a very good blogger. That's great. People love you. Yeah. You got to see that instead of the people hate you. And we're going to unblock everyone under a thousand. It's going to be great. Yeah. What, 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 what's the date? What, what do we think? Friday? By Friday, we can have that done? What's the, what's the block number currently? What, what's your feeling going to the office tomorrow? Or Wait, he has wait, to start what, tomorrow? Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> Is, <laughs> it, credit, Dave, he doesn't get vacation? <laughs> credit to us. We never. What's the asked? onboarding process like? <laughs> Gaz was like, should we shut him off payroll? I'm like, no, nah, just keep him through the end of the year. So that was never shut off. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Okay. You're right. I, I, <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. What's, what's what the block? Gonna say? He was gonna- no, old Rico would have said that he quit and came back in the same pay scale. So it's really just like three days off. Right. Like, I Correct. didn't violate yeah. through a pay a pay period. No, but you didn't work for three days. <laughs> and you took another job. Fair. <laughs> With a competitor. <laughs> Fair. Uh, 91. But it doesn't count as direct competitor. It was in between paychecks. 91.48. Oh. 91.48. So yeah. there are going to be 8,149 uh, people and honestly, unblocked. I'm not a telling anyone how to do their business. But no... That you're dealing with a mental psychopath before you try to get him to jump off a bridge. So please, like, just know he he. This isn't an act. Like, he, if if he does throw himself off his roof, like he threatened to do with me because I was going to DJs without him, and you're <laughs> the one who drove him. Would so bad. Would look so bad. <laughs> you're the one who's tweeting him. We may come for you in a court of law. For cyberbullying. Yeah. I'm not saying don't, but I'm saying he's not joking. Like, let's let's try to at least get through a couple weeks. Yeah. Everyone lay off him. Try to, like, try to drive him insane yes. right away. Yeah, let's wait till he loses, uh, you know, a, a seven-unit seven hammer have, play. I have rallied back. I'm only down a handful with the Kansas State. That's true. I have uh, rallied back. But all right, so so yeah, yeah no, what no, no, he's you, right. What what is your plan uh with the employees and the people that you have beef with? Good, good the question. Good question. Have you thought about that? Did, did What's you, the plan of action? And did you Let's say tomorrow Billy comes at you and calls you a pussy? Yeah. What where how are we gonna problem solve that? Which by the way, I've told Billy not to do that. By the way, I also think most of the people, if Rico initiated, be like, I was a jerk and I'm just trying to start over. I think most yeah. would do what cons did. Be like, okay. let's, let's s- clear the slate and start again. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah. So what's your plan? Have you thought about it? Did you really not realize that some people didn't like you? It's nice that, that, that nothing was off the table in that conversation. Well, um, I mean, that wasn't even – that was something that, that – Well, you didn't work here anymore. Yeah, and Whitney and Kirk brought up. Like, you, Fair enough. Like, that wasn't uh, – What'd Kirk say? He just said, like, there was no – there was no – Wait, you, you talk people. to Kirk. You, t- you tell him – you tell the skip you're back? No. Oh. Because we're waiting to do this. Yeah. So does Skip – does the skip know he's He knows. Back? He knows. I've been uh, talking to him. Yeah, he made a, a reference on his show. I was like, somebody knew him. Yeah. Somebody told him. I haven't. Um, no, I told him. Yeah, I don't know, Hank. I guess in due time. 
Kirk is a good friend like who tomorrow? I trust. Maybe you'll get there. I mean, t- due time is like tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe a, we maybe a, maybe for a an hour. Go maybe around maybe, in maybe a, a Caesar salad for everyone. Peace offering. That actually. That Jim Rico company email. Wow. Food in the kitchen. Wow. Hey, company email. Hey, I fucked up. I was thinking a cake. I fucked a up. Cake? On a cake. I fucked up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, we can talk about it off yeah, there. We'll we'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll game plan it. With we'll figure it out. I'm. I'm. I'm glad you're back, Rico. You're, yeah. you're, I hope. I hope I just don't turn around in, in eight months, eighteen months, four years. Be like, I killed Rico Bosco. I should have never let him come back. Listen. That's my biggest fear. Uh, 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 this is the last thing I'll say. We'll get to picks. Your failures right now are my failures. Until I give the word that I'm done coaching him, his failures are my failures. So I own them. If he fails, that's mean. that means I failed. Until I say the word, he can't be coached, I'm out. And I hope I never say that. Yeah. I How did. many? Yeah. So, like, where is it at? I mean, if I miss a jumper, are you dead? No, no, if no. If I'm no, late to no, practice, no, are you dead? No, like, and no, again, I'm not asking no, for a lot of no, strikes. No, no, yeah, here, wait, wait, like, no, no. If you if you're late to practice, like tomorrow, yeah, because it's like day one. But we'll build it back up. We'll get back to a point where, yeah, if you miss a if you miss a practice, it's okay. If you create a burner account and attack someone's family, you're dead. To me, that's fair, right? That's fair. That's fair. All right, we're gonna do this, Dave. I yeah. I feel confident. I do. I really do. And it might be. We might look back on this, and I might be the dumbest person alive. Yeah, no, I, I have zero. I, I have zero faith. <laughs> zero. I, I I I honestly don't. I've always like, been able I, to prove you wrong. Yeah, I I have you. Well, yeah. Uh... <laughs> No, you, what, you prove me wrong. You've been exactly what I thought you've been since the moment I met you. Uh, unhinged lunatic who's very funny. Uh, we're gonna, we're that, still going to have the unhinged good. lunatic part. That's good. We need the unhinged lunatic. He's very funny. Yeah, that's you good. are very yeah. funny. You're very entertaining. Yeah. I, I was sad. There was a part of me that was very sad that you left. And there was a part yeah, I could of me tell. That, I definitely there was could a tell. Part of me that got was, heated. There was a part of me that was very relieved that I didn't have to deal with you. I'm being on. We're being honest. Well, and everything's yeah. Okay. I mean, I, again, Dan was more because he he really. I'm not there in the office, but it sounds like you were just the most miserable human to be around for like six months. That's a fact. Yeah, there was one. <laughs> do you want to do the basketball part? What? Oh yeah. I mean the yeah. The I'm like, listen, we don't need to be friends, but like every day, you know, like yeah, he wanted you're me to invite and, him to play basketball. Like, do you think it would kill you to fucking pick up the phone? And he's like, I wouldn't want to spend a fucking second with you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I said that to him. It's tough. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I yeah, was, yeah. Got heated. It definitely yeah. got heated. Yeah, but that's what we do. Families fight. Yeah. Listen, familiar. you guys have made a lot uh, of. St- uh, yeah. You guys have made a lot of statements. Uh, uh, yeah, back. Uh, uh, unfinished business. Uh, unfinished business. Uh, uh, give it two. to us. Uh, I didn't, yeah. All right. I, didn't want, I know uh, a lot of people can do the Undertaker. Uh, me, I'm not trying to. Uh, Trying to what? No, I mean I'm not. Uh, listen, the most obvious cliches are all the you know the Undertaker and the fucking Leo. I'm not Le- like, I'm looking to ease my way back in. <laughs> not not come back. Anybody, like, yeah, I don't like, th- I don't think anybody thinks you're like leave. Leo or the Undertaker. <laughs> no, you're crawling no, in. Yeah, no one like, does. You're crawling in you just, the back door <laughs> with like. I was literally, and I'm not ruling out, like, making you crawl from your desk to the studio for a pick So, yeah, I, I don't think people think you're Leo DiCaprio yeah. rallying the troops. The idea that Rico walks in tomorrow, he's like, I'm not leaving. Everyone's like, yeah! Uh, see, uh, fucking, uh, Twitter's a different thing. Uh, I'm not tweeting those. I'm not tweeting yeah, those. He is one wacky guy. Oh, he's a wild and crazy he's dude. A wild, a wacky dude. <laughs> I'm not leaving his baby the worst. But that's his word. It would be. It, I guess it would be the riders, like his, yes. the guys yes. who spiritually yes. lead. Yes, that, 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 have, that have captured his spirit of attacking people <laughs> and, then, yeah. and gone and forth and conquered. Maim people on his behalf without him knowing. Oh, man. I, I, I just think it's very funny when you go to Rico's Twitter and you see his last tweet. Oh, yeah. We'll make statements and thank, thank yous at a later date. <laughs> just really one thing to say, hell of a show. He didn't even get to say the his statement. statement is here. <laughs> the statement is here. 
right where he belongs. Uh, oh, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. And you know, I you know, I, you, I think you, you, you mean that. I do. I really do. I I, I can't. I, that's I, part I, of learning. Yeah. That's what we said. I yeah. actually care about you. You know, I care about you. We had that talk. Just took a while. It's it's, man. But but you, you you're. <laughs> Cain you lost all leverage in any negotiation. You can't go anywhere. You're stuck here. You burnt bridges. It's just a tour de force and what not to do to, to increase your standing it's good. with us. It's, good. it's like you just you rewrote the 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 handbook on how to fuck up your future negotiations it's at a company. Forty years from now. It's going to be, They'll the lights are going to be what? off at Barstool. Yeah. We're going to be long gone, and Rico's going to just be mopping the floors. And be like, what are you doing here? He's like, well, <laughs> yeah, Christmas 2022. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, listen, I'm listening to what you say, though. He put the work in. He will take care of you. So there's a trust there. Yes. He yes. knows what now he, he always, knows. He knows I've, what motivates I've me. I've said so. it a million times. That the, what does that mean? Everyone in this office. The Dave, what does that mean? What? what does that mean? I know what motivates you. Money. You didn't even get any money. <laughs> right. But you know what I'm worth on the like. It's like judge. No, I don't. <laughs> I think you would have been. No, no I don't. No. I think you would have like been out of there. Before he had 63 no. home runs. No, no, no like, I, I, I think you would have been out of there in two and a half. The, they dodged the greatest bullet of all time. I don't think if I thought you were worth that, I would have paid you that. It'd be like Judge getting a $500 million contract to play quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. You'd be like, <laughs> okay, dude, that's yeah. not going to work. <laughs> like, it's all right. Cool, you'll be back. Oh. Motivate. You've had the – yeah, what you just said made no sense. <laughs> no sense. I love it. Like, work hard, get money. And Not, yeah. I want money, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. There's actually well, no okay. company like it. There, I've yeah. said it a million times. Dave will pay if you work hard and you, suit, right. and, you, and you create – And by the way, I don't know street. if you saw this. WEI, I believe today, Mutt, who, uh, who Kirk is friends with, gone. Uh, Lou Merloni gone didn't renew contracts probably got too expensive that's crazy you may have you may have lasted like six months there maybe a year they weren't you weren't gonna go three years no chance i would bet my life on it you you, i rico if i thought you it's what i said to you and it's what i say not to you everybody if you don't think we're paying you what you deserve go get it somewhere else that's why i said i'm like good for you you got it it wasn't like I wasn't being a budget. Whoever, honestly, whoever was signing that contract deserves to be in prison over there. <laughs> like, what are they doing? That was absolutely, and you see bad contracts. Do you, and I, I don't want to throw it in. You think Katie Nolan deserved what she got? No, I think that was part of the, I mean, listen, part of this coaching is don't compare yourselves. Yeah, oh, but that, you see the scroll. Oh, you that, see the scroll and, and you take it as one. a personal shot. And I got ears everywhere. If I hear you complaining about money. Well, anywhere, no, I think the other thing anywhere. is, yeah, the other thing is don't talk about work. Yeah. Yeah. Any like, I think I'm a lot of people too. Like, oh, how is it working with these guys? Like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, like, you trash us. See, <laughs> did you? You trash, us. you trash us for sure. I'm not mad. You trash us. Where do you think in the balls? You, yeah, you're everywhere. You trash oh, us. You know, they, you know what they were gonna do, Rico? They're gonna bring you in, lick you up, and then they're gonna try to be like, "So, what's Dave and Dan like? Yeah. What do they do over there at Barstool? You got any tricks of the trade?" They're gonna get all your information. Then they were gonna put one of those roofy things over you and throw you in a river. They were just going to wipe you for information. You, there's no way that contract was going to last three years. That company's on the way out. They need tricks. They need tricks of the trade. They need, what do you guys know? Give us a little of that barstool magic. They would get. They were using you to get to us. That is no way that contract. Like, they, whoever did that is the dumbest human in the world. A three-hour show? Have you seen what a maniac this guy is? Oh, Maybe man. they thought it was like uh, Neon Badeau, un- untapped talent. They just got to carve it up. Mm. Mm. What is that? Neon Blue chips. Badeau? Yeah, oh. Shaq. You're allowed to co- talk college basketball. Yeah. Yeah. If I hear you say you can't, uh, that's that's a strike. No, there's. I got plans. Yeah. You, oh, you do? Okay, good. I'd love to help you with those plans. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I can't. I honestly can't. And I don't mean it's disrespectfully to Rico. The things people do in this industry, the contracts they give out, what? how stupid are these people? Wait till they see my next one. But yeah. you'll have earned it. Yes. 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 Yeah. You're going to be swimming in it next year, this year. Big this time. time. It's gonna be Let me sick. put it this way. The way we pay here, you, if somebody who I deem as, like, talented leaves, they, they will be getting, like, you, you'd have to pay them a lot more than like what you did. Like you'd have to really earn it. Like I don't just let good talent go at that like price range. That was crazy. How did you know crazy. the numbers? I know everything. You knew the numbers? I know everything. Yeah, I'm learning that. <laughs> yeah, I knew. We, we, Dan we knew the numbers. We he know told me the numbers. You don't know. But that's better. It's better that you don't know what we know. Yeah, you had them exact. So, to the to the yes. fucking dollar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I and I don't think you would have finished the three years. I'm honest to God. I I like a, they're, they're, they would fire you. That show would have sucked, and they would have fired you, or or it would have been so good, then you would have killed somebody, and you'd be in jail. I don't think, I don't know the guy. I don't know who the guy on the show is. I don't think, I know Aaron. Neither of them would have had the, well, no. Aaron would not have the capacity to stop a murder. And it would have happened. Yeah. Also, Joe is like a very sharp guy. It would have been a, a hilarious watching him. Like, he's very sharp. He like knows. Did you text them? Were you like, yeah, I just hit know? him up. Yeah, no, I was just like, did you know you were going to work with Rico? <laughs> he's a very sharp guy. Like, very good, better. Knows shit. <laughs> I'm happy you're back. I'm happy you're back. Yeah. I'm happy you're back. And just reverse it. If money motivates you, work hard, money comes. Well, Not money motivates me, so you better pay me to work. Yeah. I thought you yeah, yeah, get yeah. paid. You know, I had the wrong I was looking at the wrong stats. Yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make my it, I, I thought my eyeballs were yeah. The eyeballs were Yeah. We what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little dream uh, board. I, we're gonna make a dream board for the year. This is what we want. This is, and then we're gonna bury it like a football. Yeah, we're gonna bury the dream board so we don't even think about the number. And then when we get this to the contract, had, what, what, we're gonna open it up. Good, scumbag, but a good agent to get that deal for you. Woo, That's great dude, upstanding guy. Yeah, are you gonna talk to him ever again, or just you owe him a phone yeah. call? You yeah. owe him a phone call. You absolutely do. For on my behalf. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Fucked up. <laughs> I'm a I'm a Fruit Loop. Hey, you should have known. Yeah, right. Exactly. Like you, you, you get better. But that's why he's though. a great he's a great agent. He's a great guy. Like he he can get. Hopefully, he gets that same deal here next year. What do you mean? You? I'm just saying. Yeah. You dream board. Retain dream you? board. No. No. Yeah. Probably not. No. He's no. I. That's not a probably not. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's a no. Hard no. Did you give any thought of like seeing Trista in the hallway? That, like, see, that, that, there's a lot of parts that you guys are doing the thing. Wait, this is why you're great storytellers, but like facts are getting in the way of storytellers. What, what, From my understanding, accurate? the morning show and the night show don't interact. She's also in D.C. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mine was remote, so you guys are like you're in a booth, like. Well, I didn't. Have, I don't know how anybody said a booth. I no. didn't. No, I didn't, I didn't say, say a booth. Too different. Did you say a booth? You said booth. I didn't say a booth. Did I say a booth? No, you didn't. No, I might have said booth. <laughs> All right, let's do some picks. We're gonna do some bowl games. We, we gotta whip through these. We have I mean, enough. Yeah, is... we're gonna whip through them because we we're only doing uh, this week. It's basically this weekend. We're gonna do uh, the last pick them. Season finale next week. Well, you guys made some statements. What do you mean? It took me a couple days. Can I make a statement? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Wait, can I? Can you pass me that water, Aria? Is this a written is statement? Is this a written statement? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it took oh, a wait, while. Oh, wait, this is open. Never mind. I'll grab it. 
Was this what? Okay, well, I have no idea. This This what what? This is is a written. I didn't know if this was going to be your, like, this is a current time, not what you're about to say. Like, you left it off, I'll have thought soon. Yeah. On Twitter. Yeah. So it took a while, so. Were you even pecking? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are you going to record it? No, no, no. I want to tweet out that I took uh, Maryland minus two. So, uh, okay. Did you bet that game? Yeah. I didn't. See, it looked good last night, though. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama. Whoa. Whoa. We're back. Rico's back. Okay, here we go. Written statement, go. For the past seven days, you have been reading about a bad break. Yet today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I've been in podcast studios for three presidencies and have never received anything but kindness and encouragement from you fans. When you look around... Wouldn't you consider it a privilege to associate yourself with such fine-looking men as they're standing in uniform in this studio today? Sure, I'm lucky. Who wouldn't consider it an honor to have known David Portnoy? Also, the builder of podcasts, Greatest Empire, Daniel Katz. To have spent this year with that wonderful little fellow, Dukes, and have spent three presidencies with that outstanding leader, that film student of technology, the best producer in podcasting today, Henry Lockwood. Sure, I'm lucky. When WFAN, a team you would give your right arm to beat, and vice versa, send you a gift, that's something. When everybody down to the interns and those boys in white coats from the Viceroy program remember you with the high noon salutes, that's something. When you have a wonderful mother figure in Erica Nardini who takes sides with you in squabbles, that's something. When you have a father and a mother who work all their lives so you can have a college basketball podcast for two seasons and build your body, it's a blessing. When you have a wife who has been a tower of strength and shown more courage than you dreamed existed, that's the finest I know. So I close in saying that I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. Wow. That was great. That was great. Original work. That was great. Uh, Saved by the Bell, steak blog. Oh! (laughs) You're going to have to have that by the end of the year. Done. We'll get that up. Yep. 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 Good point. That was Dave. the o- that was the only thing that kept popping across. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, we're never getting the yeah. Save by the Bell Dave, steak block. Dave, listen, if they you- locked, I would have been working on it this week. They locked me out of the laptop. Dave, I'm I'm the coach. You're the GM. If you got any if you got any things that you the want best. the coach to relay to the players, you let me know, and I'll make sure it gets done. All right. You you just tell me from from the big office. You just say, hey, steak block, need it done. Consider it done. Okay. Consider it written. Consider it done. We uh, all look forward to that. Yeah. You put in your you put a little reminder to yourself? Yeah, I gotta get that done. Let's go. I gotta get the guy. laptop back on. This guy's going to become a man. <laughs> oh I can't wait. All right. Luckiest man on the face of the earth. That's a that's a fact. That's a fact. You got people in your corner that mean something. We we you mean something to us, we mean something to you. You got fighters in your corner. I'm gonna fight for you. We'll whip you in shape. I need somebody on that uh, on that Grandpa Simpson gift with it being <laughs> WFAN and then right back to Barstool. See ya. See ya. <laughs> uh, all right, picks. Uh, right now, the Pat Hill standings. We're about to do picks, but before we do that, a quick word from our friends at Skrill. Need a faster way to pay and play online? Today's episode is sponsored by Skrill, the digital wallet built for betting. Never heard of Skrill? Here are three reasons why you should open a Skrill account today. Skrill is fast. Instantly deposit your favorite online casino, sportsbook, or gaming site using only your Skrill login. Withdraw your winnings quickly when ready to cash out. Skrill won't let transaction limits get in the way of a good time. If you're a high roller, enjoy instant secure access to your bankroll without limits limiting uh, stopping your payments from going through. Skrill is no one-trick pony. You can send money to other players, trade crypto, or withdraw your balance at cash. With their prepaid card, all while earning loyalty points, you can exchange for rewards. So what are you waiting for? Go to Skrill.com slash Barstool to sign up for free. Skrill.com slash Barstool to sign up for free today. Skrill will uh, set you up with a digital wallet built for betting. Skrill.com slash Barstool. Sign up for free today and get involved with Skrill. I'm in first, 51.9%. Dave is in second, 47.1%. Rico's in third, 46.6%. Dave and I both went 1-0 and last week. He had Army. I had the over. Uh, Dukes 
commanding Bob Diaco standings lead. So this is what we're going to do. A mortal lock this week, and then two mortal locks next week. So, Dave, you're still technically alive. If if okay. you can go 3-0 and and Dukes goes 0-3. So we're three, going through. Just till like next Wednesday or Thursday, let's oh, say. Oh, really? Do I, I clinch with the win? What? Do I clinch with the win? You clinch with the win. Yeah. You clinch with the win. There's three games at hand. So you clinch with the win. Yeah, so we're going through next Thursday, Friday. Ne- next week we will have a show that will talk about the rest of the Bulls and the college football playoff. This obviously has been a long episode, so let's do some picks. Uh, I don't even think we'll do like – I'm not even going to call out games because they're all kind of yeah, the same. Yeah, two cards. Yeah, yeah, two cards right. and your mortal locks. Uh, Dave, you want to start? No. You're not going to okay. go bowl by bowl? Well, no, let's just, do your cards no, till next because Thursday. Because we talk about the game. We're already at two hours. Yeah, and no, these, we're at an and, hour and a half. And none of these games are like – our premier games. So we'll, we'll do the premier bowl games next week. Like we'll do five yeah, games yeah, yeah. and everyone's got to pick the cotton bowl, the Rose bowl, the college football playoff. This is just cards. You can call it out. Everyone has a mortal lock. Get us to get, I would say stop at, uh, stop your picks at, at wake forest, Mizzou. That's the last game that we'll pick. I don't even on anyone's I, card. I all, all right. All right. So I wait, yeah, Dave, my you mortal- said something before Sylvan is out. What? Sylvana's mad? Yeah. She's mad. Because you unfollowed her. What? Rico. What? I said Rico. I, I, I said Rico's. Rico. I said Rico's out. I didn't out. think I was allowed to I get guess, the restaurant oh, recommendations anymore. I guess the restaurants anymore. are out now. I said Rico's <laughs> out. And she goes, and, and verbatim, she goes, he don't follow me. Any, any. I go, so Rico wants to come back. She goes, he doesn't follow me anymore. Don't let him back. Whoa. I thought the restaurant recommendations were off the table. So I was like, hey, I'm going to remove them. Follow myself. her back right now. I did. Did you see the chicken fried rice on TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, that was. You see my Snickers pie? Oh. Maybe that's a content. We'll. we'll... Yeah, I, liked I it. saw it. I saw it. I liked it. We'll start working together. Yeah. Yeah. Little so. Rico and Sil uh, cooking show? <laughs> <laughs> Resources? She's looking for new. Uh... <laughs> Can yeah, you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> that would be on something. All right, Rico, why don't you start with your car? Uh, yeah, I, mm, I don't what? know how far. All right, hold on. So you're saying Mizzou? Yeah, Friday, next Friday. Oh, we'll go up to next. Friday. All right, I think, I think I got a lot after that. So all okay, right. that's fine. You I'm just gonna it. go with this. Oregon State minus ten. They've overachieved this year. Florida underachieved. Their quarterbacks are a disaster. Uh, give me Oregon State laying that. Wazoo Fresno State over fifty two. Two good offenses, two good quarterbacks. Uh, and then UCF, Duke over 61 and a half. Two really good offenses, bad defenses. I think that gets uh, that gets going. Okay. Uh, that Duke game is the 28th, so all right, that's that. And then um, I'll give you one. Well, it's – it's I don't know. No, you have to have a lock within this week. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Do you want this now? It's a, it's a stat you're going to probably think I'm making up. No, go ahead. Totally true. My uncle works security for the pinstripe bowl. Oh. For the last 11 to 12 years. Okay. He gets assigned a team, travels with them around everywhere. You know what his record is straight up in those bowls? 11 and 0. 0 and 11. Oh. The Bosco Mush it doesn't goes necessarily, through different lines. Yeah, well, yeah. the, it doesn't necessarily work. Translate. So he's with Syracuse this week. Mm. Minnesota is the play. Mm. But okay. This, that game's not in this. I'm just giving it early. I like that. I like that. That's a good tip. Give back to the people. All right, people. I'll, I'll do my card real quick. Uh, I'm going to start it off. Got to play the first bowl game. Have to. Can't Can't not. Uh, Miami of Ohio, UAB over 44 and a half. I'm going to take Florida, Oregon State over 52 and a half. Um, I had Fresno minus. What, is you, what do you have for there? I had. Oh. Uh, I'm going to take Fresno three minus half. three and a half over 52 and a half. I'm going to take – I have SMU minus four and the over 64 in that. I'm going to take UConn plus 10. Boise, North Texas over 59. And what did I have? I had one more. Oh, I'm going to take Mizzou plus one and over 60 and a half in that game. And I'll wait for my mortal lock. All right. I'm doing Troy minus two against UTC, UTSA. Uh, Oregon State minus 10. Washington State plus three and a half. Um, SMU over 64 Missouri um, Wake Forest going to take Missouri and then the old my well my mortals over 60 and a half in Missouri Wake Forest 
Okay, what's your mortal Dukes? I'll go Liberty plus five. Liberty plus five. It opened up in a smaller number. and uh, I You think went out the much. coach? Yeah, I actually think that the coach going out makes me like them a little bit more. I think a little chip on the shoulder. Okay. Katie? Um, Oregon State plus a uh, minus 10. Great pick. That's my lock as well. My lock as well. No Anthony Richardson, no win. No Anthony Richardson win. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that too for the parlor. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh-oh. Probably the wrong side there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa. Aria? Uh, <clears throat> Cincinnati, Louisville, over 40. All right, Dave, what's your lock again? Over Wake Forest, Missouri, 60 and a half. All right, I'm gonna, my lock's going to be Toledo, <laughs> uh, Liberty, over 54. I'm actually switching mine. Whoa. Last minute switch, BYU plus four. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Uh, okay. All right, Bosco. Yeah. Let's let's go forth and conquer. We This team's going to win. Day one. This de- day one. Are you day coming? one of the rest of your life. Are you coming in tomorrow? Yeah. Out a boy. In tomorrow. Are you coming on the stream on Sunday? Just say yeah. yes. Just say yes. Yeah. Just say yes. yes. And then we can figure yes. it out later. Okay? All right. Fair enough. Yeah. So, how does this? <laughs> all right. So, so listen. It's again like, not you know. What do you want prorated here if we're starting on a Thursday, Thursday to Sunday? What do you mean? Seven. What do you need? Blogs? Yeah, six. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say six. 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 I could do that. Six. Six blogs right. feels right. That's the attitude we like. I like that. I because I was worried the blogging would skip. All right. I'd even I'd even you know what Rico I'd even give you a pass and just say no. I'd take no six. You didn't hear yeah. You didn't hear what I was gonna say. Oh, okay. I'd take zero if I'm guaranteed a great steak blog. Like yeah, spend yeah, all yeah. the time yeah, yeah, on a steak yeah, yeah. block. If you, you can think get, I lose, if you can get saved on. by the bell up by Sunday, you don't have that can count as the only block. Do you think I lose my drafts? No, I don't think they shut. Even you were you I were gone know. for like two seconds. Nate dog. Yeah, Nate dog actually. Yeah, the dog well, maybe. Mad. No, you might have to have a conversation with him. Yeah, I mean he runs the blog, so let's get like these are the actually parts. no. Someone asked me and I said no, don't do it. Yeah, and I what I'm not saying I have no idea. Oh, that's our blog. property. They, Why they, would you delete? They should take you off the blogger page. I have no idea if Nate. I have no idea how Nate feels about you. No, what but I'm that one delete the blogs. Nate is someone who has power here. Let's go mend that relationship, even if it doesn't need to be mended. Uh, I never had any problems with you Nate. You should still have. Them. I'm just saying. Let's go make Drafts sure we're all on the same yeah. page, Rico. This Thanks. is part of it. Yeah. You need to make sure the people that are controlling the blog button. Are, are, I'm not. You know what? I'm I'm banning the word riders until until yeah, further yeah. notice. Yeah, there are no riders. Well, I was thinking about doing forgiveness too. Yeah, it's your phone. Yeah. What? No, what? nothing. What I could. Mean? Well, or, I was gonna try and call somebody from my own phone and like forgive them. Oh. But who? Maybe it's been so long we have this conversation. Step, put your headphones back on, Dave. Been so long. I have no idea what's happening. Been so long. LaDuca? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> that one's down <laughs> Not the list. that long. <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, uh, Rico's back and he wants to apologize to you. It's Doug Gottlieb, by the way. We're on air. <laughs> Will you accept his apology? He, he, I, I have him on the phone. I'm going to hand the phone to him and he would like to apologize to you. Okay. All right. Wow. Doug. Yeah. We've both done some things. <laughs> I think we both can see, you know, that there's been some wrongs in the relationship. I forgive you for what you've done. I hope you forgive me for going so hard at you. We're good? I'm asking you. We're good. All right. Look at that! No, no. Look at that! Can, what, but look, as, as what I'm learning here is ball break, not so bad. Can we still make fun of the shorts being on backwards? What about the assist to turnover ratio? You can make fun of anything. Just, you know, if you start going into that crap about 25 year old criminal offenses, then. then we, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's, that's, that's fair. progress on both sides. Because yes. that's the first time I've heard you admit it was a criminal offense. Well, so. no, he <laughs> sort of all blog about we're, it. We're all, all, it's, we're, all, we're all good. Yeah, okay. I out to it. There was no denial of Yeah. Paper. 
You had said it wasn't. Okay, no, hey, hey. Said, oh, and here we go. Avery, Just give it up, Bosco. It's all good. It's he, all good. He's, he's showing you that he. Yeah. Doug, thank you. You're you're a bigger man than some of us. He's and, back. He's he, back. But you Doug. see the brain. Appreciate he he it. wanted to start. He, right, he, I'll talk he, to he you almost turned on him right there. You get, he almost yeah. was like, <laughs> yeah, you almost turned that crazy. into uh, Get a little, give I, a little. No, I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, but that, but went, that was good. That, that was went pretty. Was, that, was, that, went, that was dangerously close. But that, that, that actually. Point, the cops come no, out of the Dave, bushes. I want to say that was maybe the perfect. If I could say the perfect Bosco interaction to new Bosco, that's it. Because he showed a little contrition and then he went crazy. <laughs> that wasn't crazy. Yeah, you went a little oh, crazy. Yeah, you were like, he was like, all right, yeah, apologies. Oh, so you admit it. I've always admitted. Yeah, but that was a criminal. Like, Get a little, give a little. All right, good show, boys. All right, see, see everyone. <laughs> that was the funny shit. Oh, my God. <laughs>